Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley, and today I am going to be showing you how to do an integer type check using Kotlin. So, in your application, you want the user to input a number. Maybe it's how old they are, maybe it's their house number. Maybe you just ask them for a random number. It can be any situation like that. But, you need to make sure the user inputs a number. Because if they input a, a word, that could break your program and crash it. And we don't want that. Or if the user accidentally inputs something that's not a number, we want to just let them know, hey, you need to put in a number, not Jeff. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. So, we have got val user input equals Jeff. This represents our user input. This tutorial is not going to teach you how to get user input, it's going to teach you how to validate it. And then we're going to do println is valid int and, we, and user input. So we're going to call our is valid int function and we're going to print out the result. And now let's make that function. So we do fun is valid int num string. So this is the one parameter we're going to pass in. It's going to be a string and we're going to call it num. And this is going to be the string we want to check is a valid integer. Then we do a colon and boolean because we want to return a true or a false. True being valid, false being invalid. We do a curly bracket and then a new line. On the new line, we do return num dot two int or null. Two brackets, not equals null. So what's going on here? Well, basically return is going to return the result of this line of code to wherever we call the function. And num is our string, and we can do a function called to int or null. And basically, it's going to either return an integer or null. It returns an integer to wherever we call the function if it can be converted to an integer. But if it can't be converted to an integer, it returns a null. So, since we know this function can tell if something's an integer or not, we're going to use it to do so. So basically, if it returns a null, that means it's not a valid integer because it couldn't convert it to an integer. So what we do is we return num dot two int or null is not equal to null. So if the output of this is not equal to null, then it's a valid integer. So we can return a true, but if it does give out a null, then we return false. And this line of code does that. So if we were to pass in Jeff, since this returns a null, this returns a false overall because null is equal to null, and therefore we're not satisfying the not equals to condition. But if we were to put in the number 5, this returns true because this becomes a 5, and 5 is not equal to null, which is what we want. So let's try it out. And then we can call our function inside the print statement and pass in user input in the brackets. So save your work and hit play. And it says false because Jeff is not a valid integer. But if we did five, it prints true. Now, if we did 5.5, it prints false. But you might be thinking, but max, 5.5 is a number. And you're correct, but it's not an integer. Integer is a whole number, not a decimal. Now let's do negative six which you might think, what's going to happen, Max? It's an integer, but it's got something that's not an integer in it, which is the minus sign. Well, it's true, because while there is a character that's not a number in there, negative numbers and negative integers are still integers. So, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like in the comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Kotlin tutorials.